Welcome to day 3 of my A4R advent calendar. In this series of videos I show you in 24 days how to program A4R 8-bit microcontrollers. So let's see what's in the paper bag for day 3. Wow, this is quite a lot. So we have some wires, we have a breadboard and we have this USB ASP programmer. So in our last video we have wrote a simple program for this Atmega 88 PA microcontroller and in today's video we will flash this the program into the memory of this controller with the USB ASP programmer. But therefore we need to make some wire connections. So let's take a look at them. So this this um, 10 pin header here is the 10 bit header of the A4R USB ASP programmer. And here we can see how we can make the connections. So down here we have the positive and negative power supply pins for the microcontroller. And this pin here is the reset pin. And I've added a pull up um, resistor. So if I don't pull the reset pin low over my programmer, the controller will, will run. And here we have plus 5 volts and ground here. So here we are getting the power supply from our programmer to the breadboard. And then you have to know the flash storage of the microcontroller can be accessed over SBI. So I will use an SBI interface um, to program the flash. The reset pin here will be used as a chip select pin and then I will have my master output slave input pin, my serial clock pin and my master input slave output pin. And here you can see how they are connected to the pins of the microcontroller. So this here is the master output slave input pin of the microcontroller. Here we have the master input slave output pin and here we have the serial clock pin. Okay, so please give me a second while I'm doing the connection on my breadboard and then I will come back. Okay, so I have done the connections and you can see I have plugged in my programmer into my laptop here. Here I have the pull-up resistor for the reset pin, power supply and the SPI pins here. Okay, so how to flash this first if our first A4R program into the microcontroller. Therefore, I will CD into my A4R advanced calendar folder. And here in this folder, we have our first program. So we need to flash this hello.hex file into the flash of the microcontroller. How can we do this? Well, therefore, we will use the A4R dude. The A4R dude is a util to program the flash of, a, of the A4R microcontrollers. And it supports multiple programmers and the USB ASP is one of them. And I can specify the use programmer with, with this minus C option here. For example, another good programmer is if you have a Raspberry Pi, you can use the GPI opens of the Raspberry Pi as a programmer too. So this is an option too. Then you have to specify the kind of device. And here they use some strange abbreviations. So the M stands for Atmega, then 88PA, and this is our the microcontroller we want to use. And if you just want to see if the um, USB ASP can detect a microcontroller, we can just run this command. I have to give it my password because we have to run this program with root privileges. Okay, and we see it found a device with this signature, and this is probably uh, Atmega 88PA. Okay, so the connections work. This is all which we can see with this. So now let's flash the program. For flashing the program, come on, I will have to use uh, I will have to use this minus u option here. Then I have to specify to which or to what I want to write, and I want to write to the flash of the microcontroller. Later we will learn this microcontroller has some fuses to make some settings. So if I want to write something to the fuses, I could use the fuse here, but I want to write the program to the flash. 
Then I have to specify what I want to do. If I want to read, I would use the R flag here, but I want to write. And then I have to tell it the, um, the program I want to write, and this is hello.elf. So let's run this command, and we see it, it wrote it, it read it back, and it verified if the red bag um, bytes matched the writing bytes. And this did, so it says, if or you done, thank you. So this works. And now we can see anything, but our simple endless loop program is already running now on the microcontroller. So this was how to flash a program into an A4R at Mega Microcontroller. If you're using a Raspberry Pi, I have done a video about how to use this as a programmer um, in the past and I will put a link into the description. So that's it for today and I hope I will see you tomorrow. Bye!